Hello, monster cats out there on the internet. You're watching Misty's Music Vlog. It's back, and today I'm gonna talk to you about Lady Gaga's applause versus Katy Perry's roar. Every one of you guys have been asking me on YouTube which new song I like better. I might answer that. And also, people are now putting their two fan bases the Katie Cats and the Little Monsters against each other because the new songs came out on the same day. And that's not cool with me. So I'm gonna tell you how we can all get along and be friends. Friends get along like this. As you can tell today, I am a little monster and a Katie Cat, AKA a monster cat. So you can't deny the similarities between Gaga and Katie right now. Both of their new singles were leaked over the weekend and both of their new songs came out on August 12th. Also, they both have this new sort of stripped down look that they're going for. Katie's wearing a lot less makeup and less crazy clothes. And so is Gaga. She's like always naked now and not wearing any makeup and sometimes no hair either. And both of their new songs, Roar and Applause, are not about love, about totally different things. But actually, the songs are quite different. Let me break down. So Katie's new song, Roar, is more about standing up for yourself what you believe in, and I can honestly see us listening to this song maybe like a sports arena, it's more of an anthem, maybe like in the car driving with your friends on the school bus. I don't ride school buses, but I know some of you guys do. And then Lady Gaga's song is more aggressive and harsh. This is more like a club song, any dance floor, dance parties, any kind of party, and it's singing about the critics, more fame, more art, we're used to that sort of stuff, and how she's never gonna leave us. It's kind of nice, she lives to the applause. Okay, so whose song is better lyrically? I'm gonna have to give this one to Katy Perry. I mean, there's a song, a line in the song that goes, I'm floating like a butterfly, singing like a bee, I earn my stripes. Lyrically, I'm giving it to Katy Perry, but musically, I'm saying that Gaga's song is better, and here's why. It's more creative, it's more interesting, and at the beginning, do you remember that like David Bowie accent she has? <laughs> it's kind of awesome. She went for it, she said she was gonna be super experimental, and it's pretty experimental. There's electronic flair in there for sure. There's also a little bit of uh, uh, Tron, 80s, all that stuff. So I'm saying lyrically, roars better. Musically, applause. Well, both of them were kind of disappointing. Katie kept teasing us that her new music was gonna be darker, honest, and Lady Gaga kept saying her new music was gonna be experimental and unexpected. But honestly, both of these songs were kind of expected. Lady Gaga's applause sorta of sounds like her Born This Way stuff, and Katy Perry's roar sounds like Firework, just got a little jock jam inspiration. So I can't wait to hear the rest of their albums to really decide who went for it and who has evolved more. Also, I'm waiting for their VMA performances because that might tip the scale one way or the other based on their performances and how they display the song on a visual stage. You know what I'm saying? So I think I might like Katie's a tiny bit more. Monsters don't get mad at me. Uh, but I also really like Lady Gaga's. I just don't hit up the club so often anymore. So I'm just gonna drive and listen to Roar. And then here when I need a dance party in the office, I'm just gonna put on applause. So guys, can we get along? Roar, applause. We're getting along and singing together. It's like a roaring applause. So moment of truth, really. You have to leave a comment, Monster Cats, which song you think is better. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. If you watch, that means you like it. I like you back. You should also subscribe to Clever Music because that's me like talking about these kids all day long. I'll see you next time. Bye.